Next type of interest is the compound interest. Ngayon, by the book, compound interest is defined as the type of interest where an interest is computed based on the principal amount plus the accumulated interest per period. This compound interest is beneficial for the lender but not for the borrower. Kasi nga pag borrower ka, mas malaki yung um, kailangan mong ibayad kung nasa compound interest ka. Ngayon, bakit ba kailangan mag compound interest, ma'am, bakit ginagamit yan? Ginagamit yan para mas lumaki yung interest na makukuha ng isang um, lender. So, ngayon, under compound interest, if we are to solve problems, may kailangan tayong tandaan. Yung compounding period and the compounding period per year. Kasi ito yung additional na value sa um, word problems natin. At pag nakita nyo yung um, compounding period na yan sa isang word problem, automatic that problem is under compound interest. That's the difference between the problems under simple interest and the compound interest na word problems. Kasi may makikita kayong monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, at saka annually if your problem is under compound interest. So, ang tatandaan nyo lang, no need to memorize kasi alam aware naman ako na ano na kayo, familiar na kayo with this one. Na pag sinabi nating monthly, we have 12 months. Pag sinabi nating quarterly, it is divided, excuse me, into four. Tapos pag semi-annual, dalawa. Pag annual, isa. So, fa just familiarize with this um, compounding period. Kasi ito yung ma-encounter nyo sa problems under compound interest. Next, we have the formulas under compound interest. Ito lang yun wala na tayong ibang gagamitin. Hindi na din tayo magde-derive kasi i-derive ko na for you. So, yung future amount is equal to the principal amount plus the interest. Wala tayong ibang way na pwedeng kunin yung interest kung hindi, eto lang, in terms lang siya ng P at saka ng F or ng future amount and the principal amount. Or, pwede yung I is equal to, it, if i-derive natin, F, minus P. Ito lang yung way para makuha nyo yung interest if the problem is under compound interest. Wala nang iba. Next, to solve future amount, we have the principal amount multiplied by the quantity of 1 plus R over M, where R stands for the rate and M stands for the compounding period per year. Y yun yung value nito. Ito. Kaya, ko sabi, kaya ko sinabi sa inyo kanina na kailangan familiar kayo with this one. Kasi gagamitin natin itong 12421 sa pagsusolve ng um, future amount and the principal amount. So, yung M natin is the compounding period per year. Ma'am, bakit M? Wala. Nakasanayan lang. Ganun. Trip-trip lang. Ganun. Raise to M multiplied by the time. May makikita kayong iba pang formulas for this one na ito, ginagawa nilang isang variable lang. Ito din, isang variable lang. It doesn't matter. Kasi, ganun din naman yung makuha yung value. Either way, kung yun mga formula na yun yung gagamitin nyo or this one, you will still come up with the same values. Ito nga lang kasi, hindi na ako gumamit ng isa pang variable to represent R over M at saka yung M tsaka T. Kasi magsusolve, pa, magsusolve na naman ulit kayo ng panibagong Um, values wherein pwede namang ito yung gamitin nating formula na lang. Tapos pagka principal amount naman we will have future amount all over um, 1 plus R over M. R is the rate. M is yung compounding period per year raised to M times T. So later on ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano natin ito isisimplify nang hindi kayo mahihirapan sa calcule. Okay po. Problem number one, under compound interest. Suppose 10,000 is deposited for six years in an account paying 4.5% per year compounded annually. Find the compound amount and the um, amount interest earned. Ngayon, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. Laging may compounded na term sa mga problems under compound interest. So, dahil may term na ganito, edi automatic compound interest siya. ba diba dun sa mga natakil natin sa simple interest, walang term na compound. Wala kayong nakitang compound na term. Kasi nga, simple interest lang siya. So, again, pag may compound, under siya automatic ng compound interest. Next, we identify the given values. First is the 10,000 pesos. So, dahil yung 10,000 daw yung dineposit, ayan, is deposited, 
siya yung initial amount. Pag siya yung initial amount, siya yung principal amount. Four, six years. So, six is the time. Hindi na natin siya i-over 12 kasi in years na siya, hindi naman siya in months. In an account, paying 4.5%. So, si 4.5% is the rate. Ngayon, pagka indinesimal natin siya, pwede siyang maging 0.045. Pwede din siyang rounded off magiging 0.05. Ma'am, ano yung pinakamadaling gamitin dyan? Kayo, kung saan kayo mas magiging komportable mag-solve. Kasi pwede nyo namang gamitin yung 0.045, pwede nyo din gamitin yung 0.05. It doesn't matter. Kasi nga, mathematically acceptable. Kung gagamitin nyo yung 0.05, gagamitin nyo yung 0.045. Pero, ganito nangyayari dyan. Si classmate A, gumamit ng 0.045. Si classmate B, gumamit ng 0.05. Tapos, si classmate B, tinanong niya si classmate A na, sabi niya, uy, anong sagot mo sa problem number one? Then, nagbigay ng sagot. Ngayon, kinumpare niya yung sagot na yun sa sagot niya. E di syempre, magkaiba sila ng sagot kasi magkaiba sila ng values na ginamit eh. Kasi rounded off yung kanya, yung dun kay classmate A ay hindi rounded off. May chance na ganun. Pero, it doesn't mean naman na mali yung sagot ni classmate A porket hindi kayo nagtugma. Okay? So, huwag kayo basta-bastang magkokopyahan kasi nahuhuli ko kung sino yung mga nagkokopyahan based sa mga solutions ninyo. So, hindi naman kayo magkapareho ng utak na buong solution nyo e eh, parehong-pareho. So, yan. Diyan natin makikita yung mga batang puro kopya lang ang ginagawa. Pero, bala kayo. Kayo naman yung, um, kumbaga sa inyo yung fault nun, hindi na sa akin. And kayo din yung magsasuffer, hindi naman ako. Kasi ako, kahit patamblingin nyo ako ng sampung beses, kaya ko tong sagutan. Ngayon, kayo, pag pinatambling ko ba kayo ng sampung beses, masasagutan nyo to kung nangopya lang kayo. ba diba? So, yun lang yun. Kayo yung talo, hindi ako. Next. May isa pa tayong kailangang alamin bukod sa rate at saka sa time at saka sa principal amount. Yun yung um, compounding period per year which is yung M. Ngayon, ano yung M dito? Ma'am, paano ko yun makikita dito sa problem? Hanapin mo lang yung term na kasunod ng term na compounded. Ayan, compounded annually. So, ibig sabihin, itong annually na to ay 1. Yun yung M. So, hahanapin mo lang yung mga terms na monthly, semi-annual, um, annual, at saka, ano yung isa? Quarterly. So, hahanapin mo lang yung apat na yun. Pag nakita mo na yun, Matik yun yung letter M. Next, find the compound amount. Pag sinabi natin compound amount, may interest na ipinatong mo na dun yung interest. So, pag sinabi natin compound amount, we're talking about the future amount. And the amount of interest earned. So, kailangan natin makakuha din na, ng excuse me, interest. So, let's now solve. Meron na tayong direct formula for the future amount, di ba? Na future amount, is equal to P multiplied by 1 plus R over M multiplied by M. I raise to M times T. And substituting the values, we will have 10,000 multiplied by 1 plus ano yung R natin. Sige, let's say ang ginamit ko ay 0.045, yung buo. All over, ano yung M natin? 1 multiplied, or raised to, ano ba? Raised to M multiplied by our time na 6 years. Ngayon, ma'am, pwede kayang dahil 1 lang naman to, yung M natin, pwede ang gagtanggalin na namin siya, isimplify na natin siya as 10,000 multiplied by 1 plus 0.045 raised to 6. Paano naging 0.045 divided by 1? E di 0.045 pa din yung sagot, tas 1 times 6 is still 6. Pwede po yan. Kayo, bahala kayo. Hindi ko kayo i-restrict when it comes to solutions. Kung paano nyo siya isosolve ng comfortable kayo, then go ahead. It doesn't matter. Kasi kung tama naman yung pagkakasolve niyo tama, mathematically accepted, at saka yun ay tama. Kung maga mathematically correct. So, magiging... Tama pa din yung magiging sagot ninyo. So, sa CalCue, magiging 10,000, open parenthesis, 1 plus 0.045, tapos raise to. Yung raise to, hanapin nyo yung 
X tapos may ganyang box. Ito yung raise 2. O kaya naman, sa mga 2-liner na calcu, ganito. Ito yung mismong symbol na hahanapin nyo dun sa key. Raise to, ano yan? 6, close. The answer is 13,000, 22.60 or 6. Pwede na din yun. Ngayon, paano pagka ang calcium mo naman ay one-liner na calcium? So, ganito po. 10,000, open parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.045, tapos raise to 6. Ayun, ganun pa din yung magiging answer. Ngayon, man, paano kung 0 0.05 yung ginamit natin? Sige. I'll just show you. Pero sa kung kayo na yung magsasagot, no need naman na um, no need na ang gamitin ay kumbaga ipakita yung dalawang type ng solution. Isa na lang. 10,000 multiplied by 1 ay ano ba? 1 plus 0 0.05 all over 1 times ano yan? 1 times 6. So, ganun pa din to. Ito ay 0 0.045, ay 0 0.05 lang. So, kung isosolve natin siya sa calcu, 10,000 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.05, close parenthesis, raised to 6. The answer is 13,000. Pag ito, 13,400.96. So, Ngayon, ma'am, alin dyan ang mas tama? Ito or ito? Pareho yung tama. Ang akin lang, kung ito 0.5 ang gamit mo, dapat ito, sagot mo. Kung 0.045 gamit mo, dapat ito ang sagot mo. Do not inter interchange this two. Na pag ito yung formula, ito yung magiging sagot. Or ito, pag ito yung solution nyo, ito yung magiging sagot. Ay, nako, mali. Hindi ko yun itatama. Okay? So, dapat yung answer should correlate with um, your solution. Ngayon, Mag pwede pa tong ang mangyayari pag pinag-add mo to doon ka pa lang mag um, doon ka pa lang mag tawag to round off pwede din naman so maraming possibilities when it comes to solution so i don't care kung anong gamit yung solution basta mathematically correct and acceptable sa din you go for it okay po so, 13,022 is our 0.6 is our future amount ngayon we are asked to also find what is the compounded interest. So, gaya na sabi ko kanina sa inyo or dun sa previous na video, there's no other way in getting the interest na F minus P lang. Ito lang yung way niya. So, you have to identify the future amount and the principal amount first before natin makuha yung interest. So, let's say ang nakuha nating future amount is 13,022.60. Ito yung ginamit ko. And our principal amount given the value or given this problem is 10,000. So, all you have to do is subtract those two numbers, 0.6 minus 10,000. If you want to use your, the calculator, you may. So, deducting 10,000 from this value will have 3,022.6. So, this is the interest for problem number 1.